Dragon, I summon you! You who have disturbed me from my slumber, speak and name your first wish. Oh, great and powerful Shinron, please hear my wish. I wish for the greatest Dragon Ball game ever made. It has been set in motion. What the fu- Dragon Ball game. This game is called Dragon Power. I don't know what that dragon's smoking, but you know, I don't want to let a uh, you know, wish go to waste, so should at least try it. This game was made by Bandai in 1986, so it's one of the earlier games for the NES. According to the backstory, this adventure began ages ago when Goku... Goku... Seven Crystal Balls? Is this a Dragon Ball clone? Wait, Turtle Hermit? That's what Master Roshi is known as. This is most definitely a Dragon Ball game. That is Goku and that is Bulma. She's even talking about the Dragon Radar. So what's the deal with this game? It's research time. According to the Dragon Ball Wiki, the American release features altered graphics, sound, and Goku was changed to more closely resemble an Americanized Kung Fu stereotype. So Nintendo of America thought we were too stupid to understand this because I don't know anyone who's a fan of any of these other Dragon Ball Universe games, not to mention the anime. But, you know, let's push all that to the side right now and get back to the task at hand. 30 seconds in and I already have a major complaint. This music is downright pathetic. It has a short loop and sounds terrible. This was also something that was changed from the original game. Here's one thing they did get right with the anime. Bulma is so annoying. She gets captured here in the first level and continues to interrupt gameplay. And to top it off, the music cuts back to the beginning of its loop each time. With no instructions, I'm having a hard time figuring out what some of the power-ups do. There is a question mark and a turtle shell that don't seem to do anything at all. Well, at least the piece of Triforce makes you run faster. Also, just to let you know, if you are ever looking for a turtle, just bash on a rock with a stick and one is destined to pop out. The more you know... And of course, when you die at any point in the level, you have to start back at the very beginning of that level. This was such a major flaw in early games. This game is actually broken, and it is such a huge flaw that it's virtually unplayable. And that flaw is, you lose life over time. You heard me right, Goku starts off with 100 power. Without even moving, that 100 power will decrease over time. The hand power-up is the only one that even affects your health. So basically, don't forget to pause the game if you have to get up to go to the bathroom or take a call. Watch this sped up clip of me just standing there. It only takes five minutes before you die. So technically, if you never get hit and don't pick up any health items, you only have five minutes to beat the level and some levels have randomized keys that you need to find. Broken beyond broke. Imagine with me, if you will, you just put in Ocarina of Time for the very first time and experienced this flaw. You knew there was exploration involved in the game and you were so excited to explore every aspect, every inch of this whole game. But the joke's on you. You only have five minutes to reach and beat Goma inside of the Great Deku Tree if you even have enough life left to do so.
Now, please trust me when I say this. I promise that I am not comparing Dragon Power to Ocarina of Time. But, Dragon Power is attempting to be an adventure game. There are secret areas hidden throughout the level that are very enticing to explore because you can come across power-ups. But to explore a level means you might not have enough life to beat the boss with. I'm sorry, I just can't get over this game-breaking disaster of programming. Such a poor job at the translation, too. With classics such as I Am Hermit and Jump On Well. First off, that does not even look like Master Roshi, and it's not a swift cloud, it's Nimbus. I can understand the censorship in Roshi asking Bulma to see her panties in exchange for the Dragon Ball. If uh, you were to let me see your underwear... <laughs> you wanna see my... Master, what are you doing? You can't be serious! But to replace the panties with a sandwich is straight up ridiculous. It sets the tone that these precious Dragon Balls are worth nothing more than a sandwich. Maybe they should have just taken the Americanization to the extreme and called this game Kitty Cat Power and used Mickey Rooney's character Yuniyashi from Breakfast at Tiffany's. I will leave the music the same. The next boss is someone named Pudgy. Who's Pudgy? Is he Pudgy? Is that thing Pudgy? It looks Pudgy. This level consists of you running frantically from house to house searching for a key that the pre-mentioned Pudgy is supposed to drop. It is random, so be prepared to lose most of your life in doing so. The strange thing is that these houses are filled with odd totems you have to punch in order to see what's inside. Most are just screaming girls. Look, I got points for both catching her scream and punching her to death. Maybe this game is awesome. Can you imagine searching for someone in a house like this? Hello? <laughs> Unbelievable. And Pudgy turns out to just be the shape-shifting pig Oolong, and these villagers aren't mad at the chaos he's caused because they only think he's a child. For you, a ball. You know what? That's it. I'm going to fast forward through all this nonsense because I really only want to see what happens when they summon the dragon. My god. These are the only options? Fine, just go ahead and give me the panty sandwich. That's gross. I have to say that I'm really glad this game didn't have Dragon Ball stamped on it. It does not deserve it, and it can barely even be called a video game. All aspects of this game were done so poorly, and it, it flat out sucks. I mean, if you feel like you need to experience this game, you know, just to, just to see what it is, I am not liable, I'm just going to tell you, I am not liable for your misery and imminent anger issues. It's, it's not my fault, you've brought it on yourself. Uh, just don't play it. There's no reason to watch the anime, you'll get everything you need out of that. But I'd like to thank you for watching today, and until next time, see you nerds. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out some of my earlier videos. See you later, nerds.